Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm wonderful. Uh, uh, I enjoyed the show and the audience was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Is it your first time here in Pardubice? Uh, no, I was here actually a few days ago for a different kind of party and I've been here last year oh, yeah. also. But it's my first time in this lovely theater here. Okay. Uh, you were born in New York, in Queens. Yes, I was. And your family was very musical. Yes, they were. So, um, what was your biggest dream when you were a child? Actually, I always wanted to do music, mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of wanted to be in the theater, you know, in so the kind of mm -hmm. like Broadway music, yeah. you know, that spoke to me the, the most. Uh -huh. And what would be your music roots? Uh, I would say my roots are jazz, because my father always played jazz mm -hmm. music on all the time. However, I grew up uh, playing and studying uh, rhythm and blues, uh, all the Motown music, yeah. all the Beatles, you know, if you remember them, oh, and, yes. uh, <laughs> and uh, all the styles, you know, but uh, that's it. But I know that you are also a drummer, you play drums. But well, I, yeah. I know that your first drum set was bought by your grandma. This is true, is this so, is very true. Yeah, and then you went to a tour with a band called Up With People. Right, it was so, a show, yeah. uh, Up With People was a show. Yeah. And we toured uh, around the world, and it was about promoting peace yeah. and good feeling and stuff like that. So I, did, was a, I was a drummer before I was a singer yeah. for quite and, many years. Good, and uh, so that means you've gone through uh, various music styles from yes. uh, electro hip hop to classic jazz. Yes. But tell me, what kind of music is the best for you? Which gives you the most? Mm, well, first of all, I don't want to put any music down. Mm -hmm. uh, all the music speaks to me quite a bit. Uh, the electro hip hop was when I was with a group called Warp Nine. Mm -hmm. We were signed to Motown Records, mm -hmm. and we were a big group in New York City on the, the Billboard top top ten uh, disco tunes kind of thing. And uh, growing up, of course, listening to R and B mm -hmm. and musical theater. Mm -hmm. And but again, I think the music which speaks to me the most is uh, jazz, mm -hmm. and uh, especially actually. Big band jazz. I, I enjoy that even more than my jazz combo. The jazz combo, you can get uh, kind of personal with the audience, and uh, I love that, but big band is, is really a specialty where I feel the power yeah. behind me. You know, so we're so. happy to have you here tonight. I, I was delighted <laughs> for you to yeah. have me there. Uh, how do you, uh, or do you feel accepted by the audience here and in LA, where you perform the most? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Um, I kind of enjoy the European audience a little more, oh, I, really? I hate to say, you know. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, in the United States, people see so many types of music, so they're used to all the styles or what have you. But uh, I find that the Europeans, uh, they enjoy all of the American uh, songbook mm -hmm. and music, and they hang on all the words, and they know the lyrics, strangely enough, yeah. even if it's not uh, their language. But I know this is not your first time in the Czech Republic. You come here repeatedly. I do. Uh, yeah. I enjoy it here. Yeah, and my uh, question is, yes. what was your first feeling or emotion or thought when you first came to the Czech Republic? What was the first emotion? A canvas of beauty. That's oh, what, that's what I thought. It's beautiful. <laughs> All the architecture. And then when I, once I got to know more of Prague, where I go to uh, and uh, stay. I have a flat in Prague as well as back in, in the United States. Um, I uh, enjoy all the, the Czech architecture and all the history and uh, the art, the, uh, um, and as well as all the music, classical as well. Mm. You know. so, so you've been, you've been traveling a lot? Yes, I so? have. You've been traveling all around the world? Uh, uh, almost around completely, yeah. but to many countries I have gone to. You, you know. have performed more than two and a half thousand performances? Yes. That's yeah. not including the little nightclubs. <laughs> Those are all the bigger shows. But tell me, what is the most important thing that you have learned in your life? Um, I've learned actually to use a, the gift which I've been given, mm -hmm. the gift of song, yeah. to communicate with the people and with the audience. And it's about, uh, it's about sending love back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's about peace. Uh, because uh, music is the universal language 
and uh, it's about making everyone feel really, really special and, and good. I want to make everyone feel happy, and that's what happens through music. And is it about giving happiness? It's about happiness, it's for about sure. Happiness. It is. Yeah. I, I love giving happiness. Yeah. Don't you? Uh, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you prefer? I mean, singing with a big band or singing with a uh, smaller band? That's, that's difficult because <laughs> a smaller band, I can stretch the song out yeah. uh, the way I want or I can start the song in a different manner, uh, a cappella yeah. or one instrument at a time. I can point to a guy. But uh, the big band is more structured, but I love the feeling of all the horns and especially if, if I'm lucky enough to have strings along mm -hmm. with orchestra along yeah. with the big band. That's my favorite because all the power comes off the stage and it fills me with emotion uh -huh. so I can give more uh, to the audience. But it has rules. It has rules, so. But rules are meant to be broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, what kind of music is the closest? Again, I have to stay with the, the jazz uh, side. Just jazz, straight off jazz. Uh, some of the jazz great singers, Frank Sinatra, Nat King Cole, mm -hmm. Joe Williams, Tony Bennett, uh, Dionne Warwick uh, is one of my favorite singers, Ella Fitzgerald and uh, uh, Gloria Lynn. Those are people which I followed as I, as I grew up. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Good. So, we're happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Thank you for singing with our JK band. Thank you so much. They were wonderful and I hope you invite me back. I just wanted to say we <laughs> hope this is not the last time you're I hope here not with also. us. Thank you. Um, and please have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much. Best wishes to you. I want to say hi and Merry Christmas to all your guests there. This is what your lovely uh, town gave me uh, for the end of my performance. And uh, it's gingerbread, which you are famous for. And I'm going to eat it all tonight. Eat it all tonight. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow maybe not so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night.